Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Arteza sent me some art supplies to try. I got a few stuff and these two are just one of them. I got the gouache set and their watercolor paper. So I just thought I'd try these out first before trying the other stuff out. I'm gonna open this and then we'll take a look at the colors. Okay, now I don't know how to open this. <laughs> oh, so you just like pull it open. Look at these colors. I love this. <laughs> hey, Thor. I feel like it's Christmas. There's that. Oh, look at all the greens. Oh, how pretty. So, this is what the gouache sets look like we have the colors up here I don't know anything about gouache by the way <laughs> so this one is called rose lilac I don't think I'll do a swatch of all of these just because it's gonna be too much I'm just gonna pick a few and then we'll do quick little swatches I'm looking at this brown here super pretty so I'll keep that with a blue maybe what else do I want to swatch purple Okay, I'll put these away right now. I'm gonna be using their watercolor sketchbook. Okay, so where did I leave my brush? Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I have a little mixing palette here. And yeah, let's see what it looks like. Oh, there's that. Oh, this color doesn't match what's on the cap. I was really hoping it was this nice um, brown tone, maybe like a nice skin tone here, but it came out pretty orange. I didn't really check these. Yeah, this one definitely stands out a bit much. Oh wow. The pigment is really nice. And I'm gonna add water to it. Keep adding water to it. I'm really bad at swatches, so. <laughs> so it's a really nice orange color. It just looks a bit different from what's on the cap. That's what that looks like. Let's take a look at the blue now. And this is the very first page of this sketchbook. <laughs> just do little swatches. Ooh, that definitely changed the color of my water. <laughs> There's that. I'm gonna move on to the next color right over here. This one's a really pretty color. I like this. I don't know if I should do gouache and like textured paper or like smooth paper. I have no idea. But since I'm using water on it, that's why I'm using this watercolor paper. I want to do one more color. Let's see, something green. Oh, this one looks really weird. This one looks almost metallic. And if you guys can see that, do you see that it looks a bit metallic? Like those glossy watercolor paints, or like shimmery watercolor paints. And it looks pretty matte on here, so I don't know. Let's see how it performs. Yeah, it does look pretty metallic, actually. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> so that's what these swatches look like. I'm gonna let them dry and then I'll come back. Wow, this is actually drying pretty fast. Wow, it's pretty dried, okay. It's cool. Okay, so I started <laughs> looking at the colors and some of these colors definitely do not match what's on the cap. So this one here was supposed to look like that, but this is what it's coming out looking like. And also, and this one here is supposed to be a brown color like that, but in here is a pretty red color. 
really nice red color. And also, some of these colors are like, I'm seeing it with the purple as well. It looks pretty metallic, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but some of the paint have like different looks to them. This one looks pretty matte. This one here looks a bit metallic. I don't know if that affects the way it performs. Like here, seems to dry down a little bit metallic as well. Like I can still see that little shininess in here compared to these, these are pretty matte. And then this one has a little bit of that shine to it. So I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be. Pretty dry now, I'm gonna move on to the next page to start doing the portrait. Portrait. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. But eh, let's do it. Let me find a good reference photo. I'm gonna make it pretty big, actually. Let's do it. Let's see, her head kind of goes like that. Somewhere like that, and then... I'm at a weird angle, so my drawings always turn out looking so weird. I should probably be sitting on something because I'm like really short. <laughs> All right, so I got a bit of her face down. I know I'm gonna lose a lot of this when I add the gouache to it, so I'm not gonna put in too much detail. I just wanna get something that looks like a face. I'm at an angle, so this looks so weird when I lift it up. <laughs> ah, you know what, we're just gonna go with it. I'm trying to make so I can find her right skin tone, but it's so hard and I can't find the right kind of browns or anything. Let me see what's in here. Literally just adding it. I'm trying to start off white and then I'll make it dark as I go. I'm just gonna start coloring. The colors might not be exact. <laughs> I've made her skin way darker than it's supposed to look, but eh, we'll just go with it. <laughs> I'm about to give up on this one. <laughs> How about we just paint a really pretty um, cherry? Like I did in the other video. This is a bit much. I don't know what I'm doing. stop right here and I'm gonna draw something simpler than this it's just not turning out like I want it to so something okay so this is dried <laughs> let's move on to the next page and see what we're gonna do again kind of want to draw a cherry since they're pretty easy to draw <sighs> I don't like how big it is I kind of want it to be tiny. Got my cherry down. Does that look like a cherry? Probably not. That looks so weird. Okay, so now I want something red. This looks orange. <laughs> I said red. What about you? What do you look like? Oh, okay. This looks like an orange, but it's actually red. Oh, that is a vibrant red. Hopefully I can tone it down. If it starts looking at like an apple, I'm just gonna call it an apple. See how that's <laughs> that was 
like what the hell is that? I'm just dead. Let's just scoop that up and put it here. Oh my god. what this one looks like. It looks white. <laughs> this is like so fun, like just to just paint. I'm glad I have these so I can literally just sit here and paint. Even if it doesn't turn out, I just want to do this. this. This motion is really fun. Well, that is pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys like today's video it is pretty much an experimental thing trying a cherry still life using quash gouache gouache quash. i said quash why did i say quash using gouache today which is pretty interesting it's a really interesting medium oh now that this is dried it actually looks pretty cool Totally want to finish this now. Look at that face. Let's go ahead and read today's comment of the day. All right, so today's comment goes to Marina Wigdale. I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. And she says, I love your videos. You inspire me to draw every day. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks for letting me know, but I'm glad I can inspire you guys to draw a lot. That's good. I didn't know what to say, <laughs> but thank you so much for your comment. I really appreciate it. So that is pretty much me using the Arteza gouache paints. I hope you guys liked today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.